Yes, lads, Jobeline here, and welcome to the final goodbye. This is Moscow's goodbye. We could pick up where we left off, needing one point to go up into Division 4 and end this series on a high. So it's a one game this episode. If we can do it, we can do it. It's two games this episode if we need another game, but I'm feeling confident we can do it. We've got to send him off. We've got to give Moscow the best possible goodbye because obviously he won't be in FIFA next year and the hunt will be on to find the new Moscadelli. Will we find him? I'm not sure. It's some big, big boots and beard came to full to fill even. But that is the team we have managed to build at the end. It's a pretty nice team if I do say so myself and we go into this final game. So do leave a like for the final episode of this series. Leave a like for, to say goodbye to Moscadelli. Let's give Moscadelli the biggest, best possible send out. And we're up against a very, very strong Bundesliga team. Team the Annoyer, Team the Alarm. And the man of the ma international man of the match, Robin. Man of, normal man of the match, Aubameyang, Royce. It's going to be a very tough game. And I don't know if we can do it, but I'm feeling confident. We've got to give him the send off. And very early on, Kelvin runs through, knocks it to Cristiano Ronaldo, tries to keep it in, does a little bit of a flip flap. I don't know what a flip flap, sorry. Just try to keep it, just doing his thing as Ronaldo does, take it, having a little bit of fun. Try to hit the shot, but is tackled, and unfortunately, we couldn't break the deadlock early doors until we do knock it to Ronaldo again and nothing comes of it. We have him pinned back, and I'm feeling confident. The guy doesn't seem that great. He started slow at least. Pogba's dumb as a man. Takes a shot and rifles it into the bottom right-hand corner. And we have took that 1-0 lead and we are on our way to victory if we can maintain this. But he came strong from this and is conceding burst him into life. We did manage to block his effort there and nothing came of it. So we had ourselves a goal kick to kick it away. Nothing came of that. We were just standard and he went to attack again. Bit of a defensive mix-up. Allowed Lewandowski to sprint through. And a big save and then an absolute miss kick from Aubameyang meant we were spared. It was very lucky there. But just after half-time, he absolutely sprinted with P and P slotted it on past the on-rushing second in form Handanovic. And I thought, shit, he's been on the attack here and was struggling. But we did think with Diamante, tried to knock it to Moscadelli. Moscadelli pushed through. Could he get the shot off? He was pulled down, but there was no penalty, and it wasn't really a questionable penalty, and it wasn't to come. And then once again, he used P with his pace, just so fast, so hard to play against, because he's just so fast. Slightly past and sweated me. It was pretty unfortunate not to stop it on the line there. Bit of a donkey defending, not to clear that. I was upset about that, because I thought we managed to defend that properly. And then in the 82nd minute, Moscadelli takes it. We try to tee it into the middle. Take the shot, it gets blocked. Moscadelli has another attempt. It gets saved again, and Diamante is on hand to bring it back to 2 all. And we were looking like we were about to go up. And then in the 90th minute, we have ourselves a corner. Cristiano knocks it in. It's a big header, and it goes over, and we couldn't get the winner. We weren't going to end this series with a win. It was going to end as a draw, but a draw was enough. It was a shame not to get a goal with Moscadelli on his final game, but he had a big part to play in that final final goal to secure the points. So that's all we could ask for. And as you can see here, we reached it. We ran out of time getting to Division 1. We had four divisions to go. But it was a valiant effort, and there were some special packs in store. I think there were 15k packs, and we got five runs through four. Let's just open these up, see if we can get anyone good. And um, we weren't really getting anyone as you see them all open now. Zeko, it's just we didn't really get anyone good in these packs. I was hoping to end the series with a big pull. Maybe a legend. I haven't managed to pull a legend this year. I know it's a hard pull, but I feel like I've spent quite a lot on packs this year in the end. And a lot of other people I know have managed to pack legends, even if it was a shit legend, just as long as it's packed one. But it wasn't able, and as you see there, the packs weren't good enough. So that is how this series ends. Ends. This is how FIFA 14 ends, lads. We have to say goodbye to Moscadelli. As you can see there, it was a valiant effort. 65 goals in the ply, which is more than enough from him. More than I could have asked for. I'm just so upset to see him go. Diamante getting 25 assists himself in the end. A couple of other players. Kelvin helped in towards the end. Ronaldo helped in. They did a lot more than just score. We had the players, and as it skims through now, just some of the players we managed to pack in this series. 
And we managed to build ourselves a pretty decent squad, although I do feel like we've spent quite a lot of coins on all these packs. So that was a shame. But do leave a like for this series, lads. Leave a like for the end of FIFA 14. Let's all share a moment of happiness and sorrow as we move on without Moscadelli joining us. And let's hope he's somehow in the game in FIFA 16, although he'll probably look a lot different in terms of his card. So see you all in FIFA 15, lads. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here as we join the FIFA 15 progress together. I'll see you all later. Goodbye, Moscadelli. You'll be missed.